Hey guys, Shane here, Ozflight Simmer. Welcome to another episode of Test Drive. Now, if you haven't seen one of these before, this is where we take a scenery and aircraft or a utility and even hardware in different types of simulators and we'll take it for a spin around the block and I will give you my recommendations. Is it worth value for money? So if you like the sound of that, please hit the subscribe button and the alert button and stick around for the rest of the video. In today's video, we are checking out the TQ6 Plus Throttle Quadrant from Virtual Fly. This video is a part two of a part four series. So I'll leave a link in the description below of part one as we check out Virtual Fly Yoko the Yoke. Uh, we'll also be checking out the Virtual Fly Rudo Rudo pedals and then I'll be taking them all in for a spin and for a big flight for part four. But before we get to the test drive of the TQ6 Plus, I'd like to introduce you to a Virtual Fly, the company. Virtual Fly are based in Barcelona, Spain, where they do research and development focusing on hardware for flight simulations. This results into a reliable and realistic solutions for enthusiasts and professionals in flight simulation uh, with products such as a Yoko the Yoke, uh, the Rudo pedals, and also the TQ6 Plus uh, throttle quadrant. And if you're just looking for a little bit more than just the flight sim hardware for the home enthusiast, Virtual Fly also do full motion cockpits for commercial use and also home use as well. So we've been saying all that, why don't we check out the TQ6 Plus from Virtual Fly. Upon opening the package for the TQ6 from Virtual Fly, you can see it's clearly packed and there's going to be no issues in the product being damaged when it's shipped all the way from Barcelona, Spain. The TQ6 comes with a very small manual, but you don't really need much more than that to explain what's going on. A certificate, also a clamp for the desk and Allen key and the TQ6 itself. One of the first things I did notice is that the USB cable is fully connected to the actual TQ6 where the other products of used has a separate USB cable. It would be nice um, for that to be the same. The TQ6 it does come with little rubber stops at the bottom of the TQ6 so you can mount it on your desk. However, I would think in most cases you would use the bracket to mount it to your desk which I have in this case and that's breeze um, easy to use with four bolts that are included, tighten up by Allen key and then you just tighten up to your desk. Super easy and very quick installation. As soon as you pick up the TQ6 Plus, you know it is made with quality. Being three kilos and pretty much made of all metal and very high quality parts. And I found it to be a pretty good size, being 172.5 millimeters in height, 226 millimeters in width, and 125.4 millimeters in length. It sits really well on my desk. It doesn't get in the way. It's not as big as what I thought it would be. I think it's a really uh, good size for being a six uh, access control controller um, for throttles. I have been using this for a couple of months now and I've found that the finishings of the product are as still as it was on oh, the day that I've got it. I love the metal black shine and also the sort of brush metal look and the decals, um, everything still looks like the way it was when I took it out of the box. I also think it's pretty cool that you can see the moving parts within the TQ6 as you move the controller axis up and down. You can see um, all the plastic cogs or whatnot uh, moving around. It really just shows and highlights the quality of the build. One of my favorite features of the TQ6 Plus is the tension knobs on the left and right of the throttles. The left one does the tension for the throttles, uh, the one on the right does the tension for the prop and the mixture. This would have to be one of my favorite features because I like having uh, my axes with a lot of tension and it adds to the immersion um, of using the throttles with in the simulator. All the six axis has the options to push the axis down further, such as the throttle will go into a reverse, the prop will go into feather, and also the mixture will go into cutoff. But when you're actually positioning in those positions, it will clank a little bit and make a little noise. But um, I don't know, it might be the same in a real life aircraft too. Installation is a breeze with the TQ6 Plus. Uh, basically plug it in and Windows 10 will automatically pick it up and find it. Uh, you can calibrate um, your access using the native um, calibrations we've been prepared and also X-Plane. Or you can use the Virtual Fly software that uh, comes with the TQ6. Um, I'm using the Virtual so Fly software when it comes to X-Plane um, and using the native calibration that comes with prepared. 
You can download the full virtual fly uh, manual from their website and it will clearly explain which is going to be the best option for your setup. So it's time to jump into the sim. We are in prepared at version 4 in the Just Flight Duchess. Uh, we're going to do a bit of a run up and feather the props just to show the accuracy uh, of the uh, TQ6+. Plus. Now I've used many other throttle quadrants in the past, more basic ones or a lesser quality and it's really good to see uh, even from day one and using uh, the TQ6 after a couple of months is the throttles don't get dirty and they don't bounce around like I've used in other products so which is good to see. Everything is smooth and precise on every single flight. So we're now uh, in prepared still. We're going to demonstrate approach into Palm Springs with the Just Flight uh, Duchess, and then we're going to do the same, uh, the same approach uh, with uh, X-Plane. So I'm a little bit low on this one, but just demonstrating uh, how I'm able to use the throttle uh, to do my approach, and I don't even need to touch the trim because it's so precise and uh, very accurate. So it's a lot of fun uh, to fly, and you can really uh, play around with the um, the throttles and you don't have to worry about the throttles um, jumping around all over the place and it's a lot of fun in VR as well. So I'm going to be a little bit quiet now, uh, enjoy the approach into Palm Springs and then we'll jump into X-Plane and do the same thing. Here we are in X-Plane 11. We are running the same aircraft, the uh, Just Flight Duchess, and we're doing the same approach into Palm Springs. The difference with the TQ6 Plus um, with Virtual Fly is I'm using the Virtual Fly software when it comes to X-Plane. So that does the calibration. Also, it pushes the flight controlling uh, through to X-Plane. And I find it probably just to be a little bit more uh, accurate than uh, running the native uh, software and I believe from memory you need to run the software uh, to use it in X-Plane um, or else you won't be able to use your reverses so don't quote me on that but I think that's the reason why I do run it through here but um, it works no problem whatsoever so um, we've been saying that I'm going to be quiet again and uh, please enjoy the approach into Palm Springs uh, while I'm using the uh, virtual flight TQ6 Plus Now my final thoughts on the Virtual Fly TQ6 Plus, is it value for money? Well we all know that it's very high up in the price range and as you can see there, 605 euros. But we've been saying that the TQ6 Plus uh, throttle quadrant from Virtual Fly would have to be the best in its class. With features such as the tension knob, precision, smoothness, the TQ6 Plus would have to be the only and last throttle quadrant you would ever purchase. So when I think about that, I think yes it is value for money. After using this product for more than two months now, I couldn't even think about going back to the other previous throttle quadrants I was using. So we've been saying that. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for the next video as we check out the Virtual Fly Roto Roto pedals. And if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more weekly content. Cheers. Have an awesome day.